morning, everybody. Welcome to the second annual Stoughton Media Access Corporation All School Fifth Grade Spelling Bee. Big round of applause for all of our participants, please. I'm Jeffrey Pickett from Stoughton Media Access, and I'm just on stage to offer a few welcoming remarks before we get underway and turn the stage over to the real stars of the show, the 25th graders for representing our five elementary schools here in Stoughton. So I just want to let all of you know that, first of all, you guys look fantastic, and that making it up here on this stage is an accomplishment by itself. There are hundreds of fifth graders in this town and there are just 20 on the stage. And I think that's a fantastic accomplishment. So I see a lot of faces in the crowd, including uh, I see some teachers from the school. So if you're a teacher from, the from one of the five elementary schools supporting your students tonight, wave your hand. We'll give you guys a round of applause. Uh, how, about par how about parents and siblings? Let's how many fellow students do we have out there? Do we have a lot of fellow students? Yeah. yeah? All right. I see a chairing section back there. All right. Let me get through my list of thank yous and introduce you to our moderator and judges. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, support of the Stoughton Public Schools, the five principals from each of the elementary schools. We have the Daw, the Gibbons, the Hanson, the South, and the West. I'd like to thank the principals and staff from those schools, and I'd like to thank our central administration here as well, Dr. Rizzi, Jonathan Ford, and the superintendent's office, Mary Shea, Leanne Kerman, played a, lot, a big help here. Steve McCaffrey, the uh, custodian here uh, did a great job setting up for tonight. I want to give our custodial staff a special thank you. Also want the, to recognize that we'll be giving away prizes this evening to the winners tonight. We're giving first, second, and third place prizes. The first place winner will receive $200. The second place winner will receive $100. And the third place winner will receive $50. So those prizes are made possible by joint effort from Stoughton Media Access and Randolph Savings Bank. So I want to thank both of those businesses. I also want to thank Daddy's Dairy. Every student on stage here will be getting a free certificate for an ice cream at Daddy's Dairy. So thank you to the support of Daddy's Dairy. I hope so, after I get the dress on. Uh, Camelot Enterprises in Stoughton, uh, they donated the trophy that the winner of the Spelling Bee will be taking home. And also, there's a trophy that the winning school will get to take home and display in its trophy case over the next year. It's been in the DAW the last year. Let's see what school takes it home this year. Nice. So thank you to Camelot Enterprises. Yeah. And thank you to, I also want to thank uh, Mr. Ford from Stoughton Public Schools, He'll, we will be giving t-shirts as well to all of the participants uh, commemorating their participation in this event. And, uh, finally, it takes a lot of people to put together an event like this, so I'd like to thank the crew that we have here tonight. I'd like to thank uh, in the back, the, in our control room, Michael Hammond from SMAC and Eric Stenkevich. I'd like to thank Thomas Smith and C.J. Mullen back up in the control booth above the auditorium. 
I would also like to thank uh, Mrs. Jolly, who is from the South School, and she is taking fantastic photos for us this evening. And I would like to also thank Mrs. Ostroff from the Stoughton Public Schools, and she is going to be documenting this evening on social media for us. So, uh, lastly, I would like to thank our judges and our moderator, who I will introduce in a moment, for donating their time and taking part in this event. I will start with our judges. We have Mrs. Sewick, who is a library trustee, and a, she does teddy bear story time at the library every Wednesday and Saturday, and probably taught many of you in preschool over the years. Yep, that's for sure. Ms. Goldstein, who's a curriculum coordinator from the Stoughton Public Schools. <laughs> Mrs. Basler, who is the director of the Stoughton Public Library. <laughs> and Mrs. Linehan, who is a reading teacher at the O'Donnell Middle School, and she will be our moderator this evening. So without further ado, I'm going to turn things over to our moderator this evening, Mrs. Linehan, and she will take things from here, starting with uh, ex explaining the rules and welcoming everybody. So thank you and have a fun evening. Okay, hello. It's a little tricky being backwards to the audience, so I'm sorry for that. Um, this is a new setup for us, so I'm going to be looking at our winners, our spellers. And I'm going to repeat, fifth graders, you are already winners in my eyes. You are must be readers or you wouldn't be sitting in those seats right now. And I kind of fought for this seat next to Mrs. Vassler because she runs the library and that's where the dreams start and where the readers begin and all those wonderful things that come with reading. So give yourselves a clap for being a reader because I know you are. The sad part about this is when someone has to leave the stage. I'm going to ask you to leave your sta the stage if you make a mistake, walking off with your chin high knowing that you are a reader and a winner, and join your family. And you are holding a trophy right now in my eyes and I know in your family's eyes as well. So with that, I'm going to go over the rules there a little bit long, so bear with me, and then we'll begin. Um, first rule, all participants will be seated on the stage, obviously. <laughs> participants will spell in the order they are seated on the stage. The first round will include all spellers. Each subsequent round will include only those spellers who spelled their word correctly in the previous round. First round, the words aren't that bad. The moderator, that would be me, will give each speller a word. The speller must pronounce the word before spelling it, and after spelling it. So for example, say the word is, is B, like spelling B. You're going to say B, B, E, E, B. And that second time is my clue to know that you're done. The speller may ask myself or the judges to say the word again, define it, or use it in a sentence. We will do that. We'll work together and we'll come up with a sentence so that you'll understand which word it is and exactly how to say it. Once a speller pronounces the word, she has 20 seconds to spell it. The 20 seconds begins when the speller pronounces the word. The speller spells the word, I'm gonna, it's repeating, and then spells the word and then signals to the judges that she is done, or he, spelling the word by pronouncing the word again. For it, okay, that's exactly what I just said. We're going to jump over that. <laughs> However, if you start and you mess up, which you might, you can say, can I restart? As long as you do that before you said the word the second time, it's fine. So just say restart. I'm pretty nice. The role of the moderator is to connect, correctly <laughs> pronounce the word and give it a definition and a sentence if you need it. That's the tricky part for me. I have this Boston accent, like, park the car. So I'm just going to skip words that don't 
that have ours in that them. have ours in them. <laughs> like pitcher. I'm just not going there. Um, the judges will determine whether you spell the word correctly. The B will be conducted in rounds. Each speller remaining in the B at the start of a round shall spell one word in that round. So everyone will spell one word, next round one word. Upon missing the spelling of one word, you're out of the competition, you are walking off with your head held high, you're sitting with your family, you're holding your own trophy. The speller then sits down. The next word on the moderator's list is given to the next speller. In the event that none of the spellers spell a word correctly during the round, all spellers in that round shall remain in the competition. At the end of each round, the spellers who miss the spelling of a word leave the stage. That's what we said. Here's the end, how it's going to end, and you probably already know this. If only one of the spellers remain in the B at the start of a round, a round spells a word correctly during the round, the speller who correctly spelled the word is declared the winner. So, once we are down to one person remaining, a new round begins, and they must spell that word correctly in order to be champion. If they do not, the speller or spellers from the previous round come back, and we start a new round until we have a champion. The champion will end up spelling correctly, correctly spelling two words in a row. So basically, you have to win by two. You have to spell two words correctly in a row. And that, my friends, is it. My name is Alyssa Antonino, and I go to the West School. A fun fact about me is that I like to go swimming. My name is Christian Applegate. I'm from the South Elementary School. One fun fact about me is I'm a red belt in karate class. Hi, I'm Jack Barbado. I go to the Gibbons School, and a fun fact about me is that I've been playing soccer since I was 10. Hi, my name is Isaac Chavez, and I go to the Dawes School in Stoughton. My fun fact about me, I know three languages. I know English, I know Spanish, and I know Portuguese. Hi, my name is Riyad De Vega. I go to the Gibbons School, and a fun fact about me is that I have my own YouTube channel. My name is Nazir Fanoni. I go to the Gibbons School, and a fun fact about me is that I won Stoughton's Got Talent. My name is Kyle Grant. I go to the West School, and I really love to play basketball outside with my brother. My name is Veronica Kasper-Kiewicz. I go to the Hanson School, and a fun fact about me is that I speak not only English, but also Polish. Uh, my name is Hara Khan, and I go to Shada Elementary. I'm bilingual, which means I can speak two languages. I can speak Urdu and Arabic, and obviously English. My name is Mona Lisa Kariwara. I go to the West School, and I have a hamster named Coco. My name is Amelia Lada. I go to the West School, and a fun fact about me is I have a twin sister named Alexandra Lada. Hi, I'm Maisie Loesa and I go to the South School. A fun fact about me is that I was in a commercial once. My name is Hunter Malkin, I go to the Hanson School, and the fun fact about me is that I've been playing baseball since I was four years old. Hi, I'm Madison McDougall, I go to the Doss School, and a fun fact about me is that I like to play softball. My name is Anthony Nguyen. I go to the Doff School and I like to read books. My name is Jack Pochner and I go to the South School. One of the fun facts for me are I, my whole team went undefeated for the whole season in flag football. My name is Liam Pearl. I go to the Hanson School. Fun fact about me is that I wear number 33 in basketball. My name is Mario Romano. I go to the Gibbons School and a fun fact about me is my name is Mario, like Super Mario. My name's Harrison Shane. I go to the South School, and a fun fact about me is I've been dancing and doing gymnastics for almost seven years. My name is Devin Ural. I go to the Hanson School, and a fun fact about me is that both of my parents are from Turkey. So I'm gonna ask you when you come up to say your full name, and then I will give you the first word. So go ahead. You gotta walk all the way over there. My name is Isaac Chavez. Isaac, turn your voice on a little more. Try it okay. one more time. Turn it on. My name is Isaac Chavez. Okay. Isaac, your first word is 
paint. Like paint the house because it's chipping. Paint. P A I N T. Paint. That is correct. Okay, next speller. My name is Jack Barbado. And I wasn't listening. Try it again. My name is Jack Barbado. Okay, Jack. Dollar. Dollar. D O L L A R. Dollar. Correct. Okay, spellers, be ready on deck. So let's have the next speller just be standing right over here so that you'll be ready. My name is Veronica Casper Kiewit. Veronica, porch. Can you say that again? The word is porch, like there was a swing on the front porch. Porch. P O R C H. Porch. Correct. My name is Christian Applegate. Silver. Silver. S I L V E R. Silver. That's correct, Christian. My name is Alyssa Antonino. Bakery. Bakery. B A K E R Y. Bakery. Great, Alyssa. My name's Nazira Fanoni. Feast. Feast. F E I S T. Feast. Nazira, that is incorrect. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Maisie Loiza. Tidy. Tidy. Can I please have it in a sentence? My daughter Kelly's room is certainly not tidy. She has socks on the floor and cereal bowls. <laughs> Can I please have the definition? Not clean, messy. Tidy, T-I-D-Y, tidy. You got it. My name is Kyle Grant. Kyle, dishes. Dishes, D I. S H E S, dishes. That is correct. My name is Devin Earl. You need to turn your voice on or, or move the speaker up. Push it up towards your mouth a little bit. Just move, bend it. You got it. My name is Devin Earl. Puzzle. Um, puzzle. P U Z Z L E. Puzzle. Correct. My name is Madison McDougall. Onion. Onion. O-N-I-O-N. -N. Onion. You got it. My name is Mario Romano. Mario. Young. Young. Y-O-U-N-G. Young. You got it. <laughs> Liam Pearl. Liam. Strange. Strange. S T O A N G E. Strange. You got it. My name's Harrison Shane. Harrison. Subject. Subject. S U B J E C T. Subject. Got it. My name is Amelia Lada. Amelia, mayor. Can you please repeat that? Mayor. Like the town of Stoughton does not have a mayor. Mayor. M A Y O R. Mayor. Correct. Hunter Malkin. Your word is partly. Partly. P A R T 
L Y partly. Correct. My name is Hira Khan. Kara. Rather. Can you say the word again, please? The word is rather, like I would rather have ice cream for supper than steak, but. Rather, R-A-T-H-E-R, -E rather. Correct. My name is Mona Lisa Kariwada. Hungry. Hungry, H-U-N. G R Y hungry? You got it. My name is Jack Pockner. Jack. Temper. T E. Jack, say the word first so I know you're hearing the right word. Temper. T E M P E R. Temper. You got it. My name is Anthony Nguyen. Anthony, poem. Could you repeat that, please? The word is poem. Jack Frost writes a wonderful poem called... Robert, <laughs> Robert Frost. Stopping Robert Frost. Frost, not Jack. It's Jack Frost. Stopping well, you know what I mean, poem. Poem, P-O-E-M, poem. Correct. <laughs> I missed your name because they're yelling at me. My name's Riyad. 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 Sign. Don't skip a so stop sign if you're driving a car. Sign. S I G N. Sign. Correct. <laughs> All right, welcome to round two. Our first word is frown. Frown. F R O W N frown. Correct. Where's our Ron Deckers? Come on, be ready. Yep. Good one. I'm going to ask you, just tell me your first name. Give me like two rounds to learn them. So tell me just your first name this time. Jack. Jack. How could I forget that? I have my own Jack. Leaky. Leaky. L E A K Y. Leaky. Correct, Jack. First name, just help me. Veronica. Veronica. Darkest. Darkest. D-A-R-K-E-S-T. Darkest. Correct, Veronica. <laughs> Tell me your first name. Christian. Christian. Forward. Forward. F-O-W-A-R-D. Forward. Oh, Christian, I'm sorry. It's spelled F O R W A R D. Okay. Forward. That's a hard one. I know we should spell it. Alyssa? Alyssa? Chamber. Can you say that again? Chamber, as in Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Chamber. C H A M B E R. Chamber. That's correct. When they lose. Tell me that name. Maisie. 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 Arcade. Arcade. Can I please have it in a sentence? Well, at York Beach, there's this fabulous arcade that you put quarter after quarter into it. Can I please have the definition? It's a machine that steals quarters. <laughs> arcade. A R C A D E. Arcade. Correct. First name Kyle. Kyle. Riddle. Riddle. R I D D L E. Riddle. Correct. <laughs> Devin? Might. Um, can you use that sentence? I might 
have dinner after this spelling bee, I hope. M-I-G-H-T, Mike. You got it. Tell me your first name. Madison. Madison. Banana. Banana. B A N A N A. Banana. That is correct, Madison. Is it Mario? Oh, Mario. Pebbles. Pebbles. P E B B L E S. Pebbles. You got it. Yeah. Liam. Liam, right? Yeah. Supply. Supply. S U P P L Y. Supply. You got it. Tell me, Harrison. Thank you. Bounce. Bounce. B O U N C E. Bounce. That is correct. <laughs> Amelia. Interact. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. My dog and my cat do not happily interact, they scratch each other. Interact. I N T E R A C T. Interact. You got it. <laughs> Tell me your first name. Hunter. Hunter. The supply over here is not giving me the name. Prevent. Prevent. P R E V E. And T, prevent. Correct, Hunter. <laughs> Kira? Kira with an H. H. Kira. Yeah. Here we go. Vacation. Vacation. V A C A T I O N. Vacation. That is correct. Mona Lisa, married. Married, M-A-R-R-I-E-D, married. Correct. <laughs> Jack? Yeah. Curved. Curved. C U R V. E curve. Let me repeat it one more time. Listen, the road was curved. Try it one more time. Curved. I don't think you heard me. Curved or curved? Curved. C U R V E D. Curved. You did it. I don't think you heard it the first time. This is Anthony. Anthony. I knew it was A. Burst. Could you repeat the word, please? Burst. If you, if a balloon. No, let me think. The balloon will burst if you pop it with a pin. Burst. B U R S T. Burst. Correct. Tell me your first name. Riyad. Riyad. Flicker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Flicker. F L I C K E R. Flicker. You got it. Here we are. 
We are, see here we are, round three. So give them a clap. <laughs> Isaac, my hands are sweating. You guys are so brave. Here we go. Single. Can you please use the word in the sentence? Yes. The Red Sox opening day is April 3rd, and I am always wanting more than a single. I want a home run. But sometimes they just hit a single. Single. S-I-N-G-L-E, single. That is correct. Okay, Jack. Jack, you almost just hit a home run. Here we go. These are baseball words. I just read it in the notes. Mound. Mound. M-O-U-N-D. Mound. Correct. <laughs> Veronica, this word is pitcher, like the person who throws the ball to the batter, the pitcher. Pitcher. P I T. C-H-E-R, pitcher. Correct. <laughs> Help me out with that name. Alyssa. Alyssa. We'll get it by one of these rounds. Batter. Can you put that in a sentence, please? The pitcher throws the ball to the person holding the bat, who is known as the batter. Batter. B-A-T-T-E-R, batter. Correct. Maisie, good. That, the crowd helped me. Here we go. Double. Double. Can I please have it in a sentence? Yes. I knew you were going to say that, Maisie. So, I want a double ice cream. I give you a double high five. And if you're not hitting a single or a triple, you're hitting a... Double. Double. Can I please have the definition? It's when, Maisie, you have two scoops of ice cream... You hit somebody with both fists, double high five, both hands, and when you get from not to first base, but second base, you hit a double. Double. D-O-U-B-L-E, double. You got it. <laughs> Kyle? Strike. Strike. S T R I K E, strike. That's correct, Kyle. Devin. 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 Umpire. Um, U -M Say the word so we know where you're starting. Oh, umpire. U M P I R E, umpire. You got it. Madison, you take care of yourself. Good job. Manager. Manager. M-A-N-A-G-E-R. Manager. You did. You pulled it out. Good job. Mario. Mario. <laughs> Triple. Um, would you please give me the definition? Well, Mario, if you don't hit a single and you don't hit a double, <laughs> you hit a triple. Unless you hit a home run. So it means three. Triple. T R I P. P-L-E. Great. Oh, rats, Mario. It is spelled T-R-I-P-L-E. You are so close. Good job, Mario. <laughs> Clap up. Yeah. Liam. Monster. Monster. M-O-N-S-T-E-R. Monster. That's correct, Liam. Harrison, peanuts. Peanuts. P 
P E A N U T S. Peanuts. Correct. <laughs> Amelia. Bleachers. Bleachers. B L E A C H E R S. Bleachers. Correct. Inning. Inning. I N N I N G. Inning. Excellent. Correct. And this is Hera. Hera. Popcorn. Popcorn. P O P C O R N. Popcorn. Correct. <laughs> Mona Lisa, hitter, the person hitting the ball would be the hitter. Hitter, H-I-T-T-E-R, hitter. You did it. You hit it. Jack, slugger. Slugger? Slugger, like somebody who can really hit the ball would be a slugger. Slugger, S-L-U-G-G-E-R, Slugger. Jack, you're a Slugger, you got it. <laughs> Anthony, your word is glove. Glove, G-L-O-V-E, glove. Correct. Riyadh, catcher, the guy behind the plate, catcher. C, I mean, no, catcher, C-A-T-C-H-E-R, catcher. You got it. The best part about the West School is all the teachers are really nice and all the kids are really nice and I think I get a really good education here. I'd say the best part of the Doll School is like all the events the PTO has allowed us to do at the Doll School. Um, the best part about the Gibbons School is that I get to see my friends and all the people there. The best part about going to school every day is seeing my friends and seeing my teacher. The best part about coming to school is all the specials you have. The best part about coming to school is specials like gym or art. The best part about the Gibbon School is probably seeing all my friends. The best thing about going to school is you get to learn stuff that you didn't know. The Hanson School is a special place because of all the great teachers and the staff members. Well, what makes the Daw School so special is that it's a really fun and like cooperative, caring environment. The best part about the West School is being with my friends and talking with them and playing with them. My favorite part about the Gibbons School is the size of the blacktop. The best part about the South School is um, probably the schedule and how things like maneuver from one subject to another. What makes the Hanson School a special place is that um, I can meet with my friends every day. My favorite part about the Daw School is uh, the teachers here. The best part about the West School is that everybody is really nice and they respect each other and they're kind. Best part about going to school is recess. The best part about my school is that we have before school programs like box and morning extended day. What makes the Anson School a special place is that Teachers are always nice and you can always talk to them if you have a problem. What makes the Daw School special is that the teachers are very nice and the principal is also very nice and he interacts with the students a lot. Okay, here we go. Round four. <laughs> Isaac, your word. Destiny. Destiny. D-E-S- T 
I N Y Destiny. You are correct. <laughs> Jack. Monkeys. Monkeys. M O N K I E S. Monkeys. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. It is spelled M O N K E Y S. Clap for Jack. It was awesome, Jack. You made it to round four. Give, give high fives on the way by. Veronica, studio. Studio. S-T-U-D-I-O, studio. Correct. <laughs> Alyssa, janitor. Janitor. J-A-N-I-T-O-R, janitor. That is correct. Maisie, contract. contract. Can I please have it in a sentence? The teacher's contract makes me happy every year when I get it. Can I please have the definition? It tells you how much money you're going to make. It's an agreement between two parties. Contract. C-O-N-T-R-A-C-T. Contract. Correct. Kyle, pouring. Pouring. P O U R I N G, pouring. That is correct. <laughs> Devin, lantern. Um, lantern. L A N T E R N, lantern. That is correct. Madison, portable. Can you say the word again? The word is portable. It means that you can carry it. Portable. P-O-R-T-A-B-L-E, portable. That is correct. <laughs> Liam, estate. Do you want me to use it in a sentence? Yes, please. Estate, like an estate sale is when they sell everything that belongs to a home, an estate sale. Okay. State? Estate. estate. Oh, S oh my bad. estate. A large property. Uh, Jack, Jack's just flying in from the south. <laughs> a large property, like an estate. Estate, E-S-T-A-T-E, -E, estate. You got it, for a word you never saw. Good job. Harrison, umbrella. Umbrella, U-M-B-R-E-L-L-A, umbrella. That is correct. <laughs> Amelia. Amelia, elderly. Can you repeat it, please? The word is elderly. Well, my son is going to take good care of me when I'm elderly, I hope. Old. Wicked old. <laughs> elderly. <laughs> E-L-D-E-R-L-Y. Elderly? Correct. <laughs> Hunter. Liquid. Uh, can, you, can you repeat it in a sentence, please? Sure. Water is liquid. Mountain Dew is liquid. Rain is liquid. If you have too much liquid, you have to use the ladies' room. <laughs> liquid. L-I-Q-U-I-D. Liquid. Correct. Definitions. Hera, deadline. Um, can you use the word in a sentence, please? Ms. Goldstein reminded me of a deadline today I didn't want to think about. Deadline. I have to have it by May 15th. Okay. Deadline. D-E-A-D-L-I-N-E, -E, deadline. Correct. <laughs> Kyle. 
Mona Lisa, promote. Promote? Mm hmm. P promote. P R O M O T, promote. I'm sorry, Mona Lisa. It is spelled P R O M O T E. Good job. Jared, massive. Uh, massive, like big. Yeah, <laughs> like an elephant is massive, a grown-up elephant. M, ma no, massive. M a s s i v e, massive. You did it! <laughs> Woohoo! Anthony, bronze. Bronze. B R O N Z E. Bronze. That is correct. <laughs> Riyadh, teaspoon. Teaspoon. T E A S P O O N. Teaspoon. Correct. Okay. Good job, Isaac. Ladies and gents, we are on round five. Isaac, we are going to quickly remind everybody to stick around for, for the awards at the end. Okay, round five, mansion. Mansion. M A N S I O N Mansion. Correct. I'm getting there. Thank you. Veronica, laundry. Laundry. L A U N D R Y. Laundry. Correct. <laughs> Alyssa, available. Available. A V A. I L A B L E available. Correct. <laughs> Maisie, lodging. Lodging. Oh, I know this one. Can I please have it in a sentence? Sure. Lodging. If you go to New Hampshire skiing, you want to get lodging so you could sleep over because you'll be too tired after skiing at the end of the day. Lodging, a place that you sleep and you usually have to pay for it. Lodging, L-O-D-G-I-N-G, lodging. You got it. <laughs> Kyle, portions. Portions, P O. R T I O N S portion. That's right, Kyle. <laughs> Devin, whistling. Um. W. Say the word first, so I know you oh, hear it. Whistling. W H I S T L I N G. Whistling. You did it. Madison, voyage. Voyage. V O Y A G E, voyage. Correct. I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it. Performance. Performance. P E R. F-O-R-M-A-N-C-E, performance. You did it. Scared us, Liam. Harrison, specific. Specific. S-P-E-C-I-F-I-C, -I -I -C. specific. Correct. Yeah. 
Amelia, complaints. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes, I can. I have lots of complaints when my husband is home late from work, which is every day. Complaints. Complaints. C O M P L A I N T S. Complaints. You did it. Hunter, nonsense. Nonsense. N O N S E N C E. Nonsense. Oh, Hunter, tricky one. N O N S E N S E. Hera, yes. veins. The blood runs through your veins. Veins, V-E-I-N-S, veins. Correct. <laughs> Jack, mountain. Mountain, M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N, mountain. Correct. Anthony, funnel. Could you repeat that? The word is funnel. It's, it's an instrument where you can like take, it's wide at the top and small at the bottom, and you can put, like when you're trying to get sugar from a big can to a little can, you put it through a funnel. Funnel. F-U-N-N-E-L, funnel. Correct. <laughs> yeah, but if it's spelled different, I know. Riyadh, hiccups. Hiccups, H-I-C-C-U-S, hiccups. Stu, Riyadh, H-I-C-C-U-P-S. Oh! Dahan <laughs> All right. All right, I'm jumping up here. Okay, round five. Isaac is back. Round six. Round six, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No <laughs> mistake. I don't know how to use this in a sentence. I'm skipping it. I'll skip it. Biology. Biology. B I O L O G Y. Biology? You did it. Quality. Can you please repeat that? I'm sorry, Veronica. It's quality. What is the quality of those 25 cent shoes? Quality, not so good. Quality. Q U A L I T Y. Quality. That's correct. <laughs> Alyssa, invisible. Invisible. I N V I. S I B L E, invisible. That's correct. Hi. Hi, Maisie. <laughs> Classical. Classical. Can I please have it in a sentence? Yes. I play magnificent classical music on the piano. People want to hear me from miles around. <laughs> Can I please have the definition? Well, it's when you're a really good piano player and you play classical music. It's like fancy, like Beethoven and Mozart. 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 Mm -hmm. Tchaikovsky or somebody. Classical. C L A S S I C A L. Classical. Excellent. You got it. <laughs> Who's this? Kyle. Kyle. Blurred. Blurred. B L U R R E D. Blurred? You got it, Kyle. Devin. Contestants. Um, can you use that sentence? Sure, you guys are all contestants in the spelling bee. Um, C O N T E S T A N T S. Contestants. You did it.
Madison. Clients. Clients. C L I N T. Wait, can I start over? Yeah. Clients. C L I E N T S. Clients. You hit it. Good job. <laughs> Liam, tightrope. Tightrope. T I G H T O R P. Tightrope. Sorry, you missed it. It's T I G H T R O P E. Harrison. Innocent. Innocent. I N N O C E. E N T, innocent. That's correct. <laughs> Amelia, dignified. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Dignified is when, help me out, guys. Dignified. <laughs> Someone who's very proper, stoic, shirt, tie, no ripped jeans. Librarian. Librarian, <laughs> reading teacher. Teacher. Fancy pants. Dignified. D I G N I F I E D. Dignified. That is correct. <laughs> Hira. Yes. Priority. Can you say the word again, please? The word is priority, like putting it first. Like reading should be a priority over video games, in my humble opinion. Can you say the word in a sentence, please? I just did, but I'll give you another. Oh, oh, I mean, can you please have the definition? Priority means like putting it before something else. My priority is to win. Okay. It's important. Uh, priority, P R I. O R I T Y priority. That is correct. <laughs> Jack, delicate. Delicate. D E L C A T. Delicate. Sorry, Jack. Let me spell it for you. It's a tricky one. D E L I C A T E. Delicate. Excellent. Anthony, applause. Applause. A P P. L A U S E applause. That's correct. <laughs> oh, video break. <laughs> Thanks, Isaac. My favorite subject in school is social studies. My favorite subject in school is art because I love to draw. My favorite subject in school is social studies. I like math and science. Walk to read. My favorite subject in school is um, science. My favorite subject in school is reading. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite subject in school is math. Uh, my favorite subject in school is history. My favorite subject in school is science. My favorite subject in school is language arts. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite subject is science. My favorite subject in school is science. My favorite subject in school is social studies. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite subject in school is science. My favorite subject in school is math.
If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to Hawaii. If I could go anywhere is the Harry Potter Universal Studios because I actually really love reading Harry Potter. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to Florida. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would like to go to Germany. I'd go to Florida. If I could travel anywhere in the world, it would be Paris. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would pick Fiji. I would like to go to Santa Barbara. I would go to New York City. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to Japan. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to London. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I'd go to Hawaii. I'd like to go to Barcelona. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would travel to the Bahamas. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I'd probably go to Haiti. I would go to Italy. I'd go to Paris. If I could travel to anywhere in the world, I would go to the Dominican Republic. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to Paris. If I could travel anywhere in the world, I would go to Brazil. All right, here we go, round seven. It's getting scary. I'm running out of rounds here. Here we go. Unbearable. Can I please have the definition? Spelling all these tricky words feels unbearable when you're a fifth grader, but you're doing it anyways because you're brave. Unbearable. U N B A R E A B L E. Unbearable? I'm sorry, Isaac. Let me spell it. U-N-B-E-A-R-A-B-L-E. -E. And it's easier for me because I get the paper. <laughs> Guys, if you want to move so you're all in a row, you're welcome to do it or you can stay right where you are. Whatever makes you comfortable. Here we go. Veronica, cupboard. You put your gross, well, you put your, like, your cans of soup and stuff in a cupboard. Cupboard. C... U P B O A R D cupboard. That is correct. <laughs> Alyssa, dimension. Can you put that in a sentence, please? Hmm, that's a hard one for me. Dimension, like. Um, the dimension of the room is twelve. By 10. Yeah, the dimension, the size, the dimension of the room is twelve by ten. Dimension. D I M. E-N-S-I-O-N, -S dimension. Correct. Hi. Hi, Maisie. Initials. Can you please put it in a sentence? Sure. My initials are J-L-L -L for Julie Leonard, I hate that name, Linehan. Can initials. I please have the definition? It's the first letter of your first name, your middle name, and your last name. Initials. I... And can I restart, please? Sure, you can. I N I T I A L S initials. That is correct, Maisie. I'll just give it. Kyle, digestive. Digestive. D I G E S T I V E. Digestive. That is correct. Devin, lounge. Um, can you say it one more time? The word is lounge, like you could lounge about the house, so you can sit in a lounge. Oh, uh, L O U. Devin, say the word. Oh, lounge. You got it. L O U N G E, lounge. You got it. <laughs> Madison, poisonous. Poisonous. He. O. I. S. O. N. O. U. S. Poisonous. That is correct. Harrison, vinegar. Vinegar. V I N 
E G A R, vinegar. That's correct. <laughs> Amelia, moisture. Can you repeat that, please? Sure, the word is moisture. Like a lot of moisture in the air makes clouds and dew and that wet feeling. Moisture. M O I S T U R E. Moisture. That is correct. Hira. Yes. Gymnastics. Can you say the word again, please? The word is gymnastics, like cartwheels and backhand springs and splits and. Gymnastics. G Y M N A S T I C S. Gymnastics. Correct. <laughs> Anthony, vertical. Could you repeat that, please? The word is vertical as opposed to horizontal. Vertical would be up and down. Vertical. V. E-R-T-I-C-A-L, vertical. Correct. That is the end of round seven. We are, go ahead, Maisie. Let me, I'm just checking, no, no video break. Okay, round eight. Here we go. Maisie, your word is concise. Can I please have it in a sentence? Okay. Um, when you're talking too long, your friends will say, cut it down and be concise. Can I please have the definition? It's like to shorten something. Concise. To make it brief. Um, is it possible to get the word origin? I don't know the word origin. This is probably Latin. But you can test us. Concise. Let's see if I can find it first. <laughs> Concise. I, I can read you the definition. They don't have the origin, but let me read the exact definition. Would that be helpful for you? Okay, here we go. Concise. Expressing much in few words. Clear and succinct. It's Latin from concisus to cut up. What do you have? She has a difference. It's Latin origin, that's all I can tell you. That's what I said, Latin. Concise. C O N C I S E. Concise. Maisie pulls it out. Woohoo! Microscope. Microscope. M I C R O S C O P E. Microscope. That is correct. <laughs> Alyssa, cathedral. Can you put that in a sentence, please? Sure. My niece wanted to get married in a cathedral like that Princess Kate. Big church. A big, big church with lots of windows. Cathedral. Cathedral. C A T H. Can I start over, please? Yes, you can. Cathedral. C A T H R. A L Cathedral. Oh, I'm sorry, you were so close. Let me spell it. C-A-T-H-E-D-R-A-L.
Kyle. Diligent. Diligent. D I L I G E N T. Diligent. That is correct. Devin, yeah. auction. Um, can you use a sentence? Sure. If I don't pay the bill on my house, they'll sell it at an auction, and I will um, be sad. A U. Say the word first. Auction. It's okay. <laughs> a U. Can I start over? Yes, you can. A U C T I O N auction. You got it. Madison, bushel. Can you say the word again, please? The word is bushel. I think when um, apples come, they come in a big basket, and that amount is called a bushel. Bushel. B-U-S-H-E-L, bushel. That is correct. Harrison, unappealing. Unappealing. U N A P P E A L I N G. Unappealing. There is no stopping you, Harrison. Good job. <laughs> Amelia, pensive. Can I have the definition, please? Pensive describes something that's very thoughtful. When you're quiet and thinking, you might be described as pensive. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Hmm. Um, Mrs. Linham was very pensive when she was trying to pass that really difficult test. Is it pensive or appensive? No, it's pensive. P pensive. Oh. Pensive, P-E-N-C-I-V-E, -E. pensive? Oh, I'm sorry, it's spelled with an S, P-E-N-S-I-V-E, -E. you're so close. Kira. Yes? Gnarled. Can you say the word again, please? The word is gnarled. Like, it's sad when you get arthritis in your fingers, your hands get very gnarled. They're like bent. Gnarled. 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 Did you want to hear me say it one more time? Yes, please. Okay. Gnarled. 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 K-N-A-R-L-E-D. Gnarled. Oh, so close. It's G-N. A-R-L-E-D, gnarled. So it's the G-N spelling pattern. Very tricky. Anthony. Anthony, peculiar. Peculiar. P-A-C-U-L-I-E-R, peculiar? No, I'm sorry, Anthony. You got so much right. P-E-C-U-L-I-A-R, peculiar. Hi. Maisie, equestrian. Can I please have the word repeated? The word is equest equestrian. Okay. It's can horses, yeah. Can I please have it in a sentence? So just today, I went to the equestrian center in Canton, and they were teaching horse riding lessons at the equestrian center in Canton. Can I please have um, the definition? A horse rider. A horse rider. Equestrian. E-Q-U-E-S-T-R-I-A-N. Equestrian. You got it. I grow up, I think I'm going to be either try and be a doctor or a lawyer. I would like to be either a law enforcement or an engineer. 
I would like to be an actor or an artist. Well, the one thing I want to do when I grow up is be a hockey player. When I grow up, I would like to be an ESPN play-by-play -play basketball commentator. I'd like to be a veterinary when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be a U.S. Marine. When I grow up, I want to be a chef. I would like to be a lawyer when I grow up. I would like to be a singer. When I grow up, I want to be an interior designer. I'd like to be a soccer player when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be an artist or a photographer. Um, when I grow up, I want to be a forensic doctor. When I grow up, I either want to be a famous YouTuber or I want to be an author. I would like to be a fourth grade teacher. When I grow up, I want to be a singer. When I grow up, I want to be an architect. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton is Paisoni's and Daddy's Dairy. The Chateau. It's TGI Fridays. Central Street Pizza. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton is Chinatown. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton is Chinatown. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton is this kebab house. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton would probably be Yummies. Probably Wendy's. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton is Subway. My favorite place to eat in Stoughton is Town Spa. Town Spa. The Town Spa. Town Spa Pizza. Town Spa. Town Spa. Town Spa. Town Spa. Town Spa. Town Spa. Okay, we are just moving all the kids into one row so that we are clear when the round is ended. Here we go. Veronica. Oblivious. Can you please say that again? The word is oblivious. Obli when you're not paying attention, unaware. you're Obli very unaware. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Oblivious. O B L I V I O U S. Oblivious. That's correct. Can I quickly use the bathroom? To the bathroom? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Kyle. Spatula. Spatula. S P A T U L A. Spatula. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Devin. Tuition. Um, can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Kelly Linehan's tuition is ridiculously expensive. I hate paying it. Um, tuition. T U. Wait, can I start over? Um, tuition. T U I T I O N. Wow. Tuition? You did it. You did it. <laughs> Madison. Orchestra. Orchestra. Can you say the word again, please? Say, what, what, would you, what would you like, honey? Can you say the word again, please? Orchestra. Orchestra. Can I say that one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Orchestra. O R C H E S T R A. Orchestra. Yeah. That is amazing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Harrison, precursor. Precursor. P R E C U R S E R. Precursor. Oh, Harrison. You almost had it. P R E C U R S O R. Thank you. Hi. We're not missing anybody, right? She's, she's coming so right. Okay. Maisie. Infuriating. Infuriating. Can I please have it in a sentence? Waiting is infuriating. Waiting is infuriating. When John Linehan is late for the 17th millionth night in a row, it is infuriating when the dinner is freezing cold. It gets you so mad. Can I please have the definition? <laughs> when John Linehan's late for work from home. 
It's infuriating. It's like super mad, like angry, angry, angry. Infuriating. I N F U R I A T I N G. Infuriating. You did it. Ready? Veronica, forfeit. Forfeit. F O R F I T. Forfeit. Oh, Veronica, I'm sorry, it's so tricky. It's F O R F E I T. Forfeit. Good job. Thank you. Kyle, Partridge. May you please say the word again? The word is partridge, like partridge in a pear tree. Five geese are laying. Partridge. P A R C H R I D G E. Partridge? No, sorry, Kyle. It is spelled P A R T R I D G E. Partridge, the bird. Okay, Devin, your word, jealous. Um, jealous, J-E-A-L-O-U-S, jealous. That's correct. <laughs> Madison, vacuum. Vacuum. <clears throat> V A C U M E vacuum. Oh, shoot, ski woot, ski. Let me spell it. V A C U U M. Crazy word, but Madison, look. Third place. Good job. Madison, will you, Madison, can you please stay on the stage? Because remember the rules, like if this round everybody misses, everybody comes back. So if you just jump into your seat back there, that would be great. Thank you. Give her one more clap. Okay, Maisie. Hi. Intermission. Intermission. Can I please have it in a sentence? In between the first half of a play and the second half of a play, they have a little time you eat a cookie, and it's called an intermission. Can I please have the definition? Intermission is the break in the between where you go to the ladies' room. <laughs> intermission. I-N-T-E-R-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. -S -S intermission. That is correct. <laughs> Okay. Devin, accidentally. Um, okay, accidentally. A, A, C, C. Okay, are you starting again? Uh, start no. again. Say the word and start okay. again. Accidentally. A, C, C, I, D, E, N, T, a L L Y accidentally. That's correct. Thank you. Hi. Maisie, museum. Museum. Can I please have it in a sentence? There is a, a beautiful museum in New York City that has the best paintings you've ever seen. Can I please have the definition? It's a big place in New York, they're free to get into most of the time. And you look at art or you look at history. That's stuff to look at. Museum. M U S E M. Can I restart? Yep. Museum. 
M U S E U M. Museum? That is correct. It's a battle here, folks. People at home are on the edge of their seats. Yeah. Here we go. Devin. Yes. Spaghetti. Um, spaghetti. S P A G H H E T T I. Spaghetti. No, I'm sorry, Devin. Let me spell it. S P A G H E T T I. Only one H. Okay. Hang on. Hi. Okay, Maisie. You have to get this one right and the next one right. Okay. Your word is grateful. Grateful. Can I please have the definition? Grateful means you're very, very thankful and appreciative for something. Can I please have it in a sentence? I was grateful when my girlfriends brought me out to dinner for my birthday. Okay. Grateful. G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. Grateful. Okay. <laughs> Maisie, one more. For world champion status. Hi. Okay. This is the second. If she gets this one right, I'm just conferring with the judges so I don't make a mistake. Okay. If she doesn't, then Devin comes back. Okay. So according to the judges, if you get this one right, you win first place. If you make a mistake, Devin comes back, and we start a new round. Okay. Okay. All right. Your word. Comfortable. Comfortable. Can I please have it in a definition? Yes. Comfortable describes when it doesn't dig into you and bug you and scratch you and itch you. Can I please have it in a sentence? My jeans with the spandex that stretch a little are so super comfortable. 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 C-O-M-F-O-R-T-A-B-L-E. Comfortable. Comfortable. We have a champion! So, everybody up. So, Maisie, center stage. Devin, come up beside Maisie. And Madison, come on up. All right, round of applause. Another round of applause for everybody. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to award our prizes and our trophy and our participation awards. And it looks like, Maisie, that this trophy, I will give it to you in a second, but it's going to the cell school. So first, I'd like to call up our participants and then I will give the first, second, and third place prizes. One of the judges maybe could help me pass out. So how about all of the, cont all the contestants get ready to come up on stage. We're going to start with the West School. Uh, these are our participation certificates. Alyssa Antonino. Uh, Is Alyssa still here? All right, so we will, we will make sure that she gets her certificate. 
Kyle Grant. And Kyle, look, Kyle, look right there. Look right there, Kyle. Good job, Kyle. All right, Mona Lisa Kadiwada. Yep, stop. All right, and Amelia Lada. And make sure you, make sure you pose for picture. Turn around, turn around. All right, so those were our West School participants. Another round of applause for the West School. All right, we have our Daw School participants. Isaac Chavez. Kara Khan. Anthony Nguyen. I'm gonna save Madison's for a little bit. On to the Gibbons School. All right, we ha oh, let's hear it one more time for the Daw School. All right, now to the Gibbons School. Jack Barbado. Barbado, sorry. Jack, Jack, look right there for a picture. Smile for Suzanne. All right, Riyadh De Vega. All right, participants, when you come up on stage, Mrs. Jolly's right there in front of the mic to take a picture. So just pause for one second. And uh, Nazara Fanoni. And Mario Romano. All right, congratulations to our Gibbons School students. Hanson School students. Veronica Casper Kawitz. Congratulations. Hunter Malkin. Liam Pearl. And I have right, another round of applause for the Hanson School. <laughs> South Elementary School, it's here for the Sharks. <laughs> Christian Applegate. <laughs> Jack Pockner. Harrison Shane. Harrison. And now, round of applause for the South School. And uh, can I have uh, Jaden? Are you still here? Come up on stage. So we actually have, this is pretty cool, our champion from last year, Jaden Coleman from the Daw School, she came to watch tonight. So she's actually going to help me give out the first place trophy and pass it from the first champion to our second champion. So, Jaden, I'm going to allow you to hold the trophy too. All right. Round of applause for our judges coming off stage. So, in third place and receiving $50. Madison McDougall.
in second place, and I loved the spirited back and forth you guys had out there, and everybody did such a wonderful job tonight. From the Hanson School, Devin Ural. Devin is the recipient of $100. Wow. Big bucks. And our champion tonight, and the recipient of $200. Maisie Loiza. Yeah. Jaden, will you present Maisie with her trophy? Yeah. All right, so uh, when uh, participants, if you could stay on stage for just a, another moment. Uh, last I just want to close out and thank everybody for attending. This was a wonderful crowd tonight. I especially want to thank our judges and our moderator, Mrs. Linehan. Big round of applause. And our judges, Mrs. Suick, Mrs. Basler, Ms. Goldstein, thank you very much. Thank you again to all of the principals and the superintendent, assistant superintendent, all of the administration and faculty and staff that helped make this possible tonight. I want to thank all the SMAC staff again. Uh, that's Michael Hammond, that's Eric Stenkevich, CJ Mullen, Thomas Smith. Want to thank uh, Kevin Bechet from Stoughton High as well for help. I want to thank the custodial staff again. And I want to thank our sponsors one last time. Camelot Enterprises, Daddy's Dairy, Randolph Savings Bank, the Stoughton Public Schools, and Stoughton Media Access. So for the Last time this evening, I'm Jeffrey Pickett. Thank you so much for tuning in. Congratulations and good night.